Hey everyone, it's Ashley with Fleet Feet and today I'm going to walk you through a 10 minute core routine for runners. We're going to do 10 exercises for 10 minutes. We'll do 40 seconds of each exercise followed by 20 seconds of rest. First up, we have plank walk-ups. It's good to alternate arms on this one. So if your right arm goes down to your elbows, stand up on your left arm, left arm goes down. Also keep your gaze down and slightly in front of your hands. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Maybe stretch out a little bit here, shake out your shoulders and your arms to get ready for the second exercise. Bridges in five, four, three, two, one. During your bridge, look a few feet ahead and do not lift your head or crane your neck. Do each repetition slowly and pause for a moment at the top in order to activate your glutes. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Get ready on your hands and knees for bird dog in three, two, one. Lift your opposite arm and leg. Reach out far in front and behind you and hold for a beat at the top. Perform each movement slowly and deliberately to activate your core. Awesome. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Come down to your back to get ready for the next exercise, which is bicycle crunches. During this exercise, keep your shoulders off the ground and rotate from right to left, bicycling your left and right legs. Awesome work, you all. You have 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. For the next exercise, starting in a plank, you'll lift your left knee towards your left elbow, back to a plank, your right knee to your right elbow and back to a plank. Repeat on both sides. Again, keep the movement slow, deliberate. To mix it up and make it a little more dynamic, between each knee to elbow, you can come back into downward dog. and rest. 
Maybe even finding a few moments to rest in downward dog and stretch out your calves. Maybe even coming down to a child's pose, a nice forward fold to bring down the heart rate. Again, coming back up onto all fours, rotating onto your right elbow for a side plank with a twist. You'll reach up towards the sky and rotate your arm underneath your torso and look underneath. If you have good balance and you wanna test it out, consider looking up past your fingertips to the sky as you extend your arm up. Nice job, five seconds to go. And rest. This time coming onto your stomach to rest, turning your head to the left or the right. All right, now rotate to the opposite side, your left elbow on the mat, reach your right arm up high to the sky, look up to your fingertips if your balance feels good, and then rotate your upper body, your torso, your arm underneath your body and back up. Twenty seconds to go. This time, rest again on your stomach. Turn your head the opposite direction of the way that you've rested before. Time again for our next exercise, coming onto our back for windshield wipers. On your back, lift your legs straight up and rotate from the left to the right, slow and steady. Try to keep your lower back on the ground it not only works your obliques, it also stretches your hamstrings. So be mindful if you need to bend your knees. And notice how far you can go on each side. Nice work, we have 15 seconds to go. And we are over halfway there. We have two more exercises. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Awesome job. Laying on your back, totally relaxing for 20 seconds. And now for a double crunch. So reaching your arms out over your head, your legs straight out in a pike at the bottom, coming all the way up, bending your knees, touching your chest to your knees. Again, slow and deliberate movement to really work your core. Halfway there. You all are doing great after this. You only have one exercise to go. All the way through for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. On your back, totally relaxed, one more to go. We'll stay on our back for this last one, which will be leg lifts. For leg lifts, keep the range of motion small. You wanna lift your legs straight up perpendicular to the ground so that you're really working your lower abs here. The less you can drive your legs back towards your head, the better. Over halfway there. Five, four, three, two, 
one, and done. Awesome job, you all. Way to go.